we're gonna try this out. I'm gonna start my uh, nursing and pumping bra reviews. Uh, this is gonna be a series of nursing only versus nursing and pumping. Uh, this is uh, the Sunita V-neck maternity and nursing sports bra. Um, it has nice little plastic clips. Um, I have a little liner on here, so you can see this is just nursing only. This is too wide for most uh, pumps. Um, so I really like this one. This one I think is more supportive than the other one I'm going to show you from Sunita. Um, it's very comfortable. I've been able to wear this um, basically for like a year and a half already postpartum um, with the fluctuating um, boob size basically throughout nursing. Um, so this is the back. They all have a nice little um, clasp system here with, th with three different um, hook set hooks on there for different um, bandwidths. I usually do the um, widest. This is a size medium. I'm usually a 34B. Um, when I was at the beginning stages of postpartum, I think I went up to like a full C. Um, they didn't get huge during pregnancy or anything. Um, the only thing that's nice about Sunita bras is they have this little, like in the racer bag, you can fit a full um, Galaxy phone or iPhone in the back there. On the top, there's a little pocket under my ponytail, which is nice. I like the detail on the back here. So um, this one only comes in a couple colors. I wish it came in more because um, I really like the support of the Z neck one. Um, but yeah, so let me show you the scoop neck version from Sunita. Again, um, highly recommend for like this worked for me for like some CrossFit workouts, running. This is what I usually go for. Okay, so we're back. This is the scoop neck style of the Sunita um, sports bras, maternity nursing style. You can see um, the clips here. Again, it's the same. Um, the same like nursing only style um this one i just feel like isn't as like sexy as the other one is uh similar back style you have the um the clasp here the same pocket um up here for uh, a phone or you know whatever credit card keys could fit in there too um but yeah this one i feel like um just maybe runs a little looser um they do come with like the liner cups um i take them all out of my sports bras like the the padding stuff that comes with them but yeah this one um it's super soft super comfortable i've worn this one as well this one um i just feel like uh the v-neck one for some reason feels more supportive to me but i think they're both what i reach for for a more supportive um bra out of like the couple other sports bra options that i have um but yeah so i love sunita i'm definitely gonna get more and i actually want to get some of their non-nursing um sports bras as well um but yeah so i have this one in two colors i have the purple eggplant color this is the light pink color this one um I can't seem to keep as clean <laughs> because it's light. Um, but yes, yeah, so those are the three Sunita ones that I have. Okay, so this was one of my hands down best purchases. I think I wore this majority of pregnancy and first months, maybe year of <laughs> postpartum. I have two of these. This is the Kindred Bravely, like terry cloth, um, like just pull apart um, nursing bra. I think that they changed the style on the back. Mine is kind of like a full coverage back i think that they have a racer back version now um because i bought this in 2020 um but yeah so um this is super easy to pull us apart for nursing it kind of i think i got a size medium um so it felt really tight in the beginning but it did stretch out perfectly it never felt constricting or anything like that i think i wore this at night for sleep for like on almost like a year after postpartum too just to keep everything in place um i think it was recommended by my lactation consultant in the beginning as well but anyways so yeah i have this in uh the black and the, the light tan color the light tan color i definitely stained a bunch of times but i was able to use my branch basics and clean it up uh looks pretty brand new still um and i would say that the material is held up as well versus one of the other bras i have from them which i did not love the material on hands down this is like literally lived in these two bras for ever and i definitely would uh recommend them to everyone so this is the bay obey or bay bay however you say it maternity bras in the beginning they were super comfortable i kind of stopped using them on the earlier side um i was reaching for like the kindred bravely ones more but um these ones you can pull down or you can lift up um so you could do um either way I ended up having to pull up more because if you can see, like I was using the, oops, sorry, the um, pull down version a lot. So you could see, like I started to kind of tearing this. Um, so I was kind of afraid to use this after a while. Um, 
they also are super sheer definitely show your nipples through them like they're very thin um so that's why I wanted to show you the purple one. I think they're double lined in the front, but still, this is um this is the small medium size. But when I ordered the same size in black, it ran so tight that I had to exchange it for the larger size. Um, so this is the small medium in the lavender. I guess there was like size inconsistencies with the black, but um, and this is what the back looks like. They're very cute. Um, I would equate them more to like a yoga <laughs> bra style, style, I guess. Um, they're very lightweight um really nice in the beginning days of nursing but um this band is much tighter than that kindred bravely um pull apart uh the terry cloth one it's more sports bra like band for me um and when i was still like really bloated after giving birth this wasn't the most comfortable initially but um i also have their um postpartum uh like high-waisted underwear that were really nice to use um so i did wear that like combo which i thought was nice but again um i wasn't happy that this started kind of ripping from the pull down because the pull down easy nursing was better for me more comfortable than pulling this up um so i don't know that i would buy a lot more of these maybe one or two but definitely was reaching for the kindred bravely ones more um and then when i transitioned to some other bras that i'm going to show you i never really went back to these I wanted to show the difference in size. This is the um, the same Bayo Bay bra, and now that I'm not in the beginning stages of nursing and my boobs are way smaller, this um, looks way bigger on me. Like, it comes down much longer. Um, this is, like, the, the medium-large size. It still looks super cute. Um, it's more crop top style for me now than um, the purple one. It definitely fits better. Um, but again, this was I had to exchange this one for the medium-large because the black small medium was way too tight on me originally so back to kindred bravely this is one of their um sports bras in like the tan blush color um that i was really excited for originally it does work well it works for light exercise it doesn't work for running which is why i invested in the sunita ones um this is the back just a simple racer back it's very comfortable um the material is very stretchy um i would give it that it's very stretchy but i do not love how it's worn and this one's stained pretty horribly and i cannot clean it so i will um, so you can see um it's pretty gross um and i could not get the stains out you can also see like the wear and tear um on the material is just it's all pilled up because i wore it so much um i can't get the you know i just can't get it to look that nice but I wish I had gotten maybe a darker color. So I would definitely recommend it. It's super comfortable. Um, you know, the the snaps work really well for just nursing. This is not a pumping one, but a nice lightweight exercise or walks and stuff, stuff like that, yoga. Um, so great in the beginning when you're not doing high intensity CrossFit workouts. Um, but I would definitely not recommend this color. <laughs> and uh, otherwise, it's very comfortable. And I wear this a lot as well. And I still do. Um, I just don't love what it looks like anymore. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that's all my, that's the, the last one of my Kindred Bravely ones that I have. Okay, so although these are not traditional maternity nursing or anything like that bras, this is a True & Co bra. If you don't have one, you should because they're the most comfortable things on the planet. Um, this has like a teeny tiny liner inside of it um, that kind of moves around. But um, when I was a little bit bigger in the middle of nursing, this didn't fit me well so I would have had to maybe get a medium I'm usually a small in the true and cobras um as a 34b traditionally um I have this in a couple colors this is like their v-neck um convertible one so this converts to a racer back um it's just this beautiful super super light um second skin bra that ever since I kind of you know I'm not pumping anymore I'm only nursing very little so um I wear this as like my work bras that I wear right now. Um, if I needed more support, I probably would go with a traditional um, bra. I actually just ordered a couple pepper bras to try um, just so I have like a little bit more shape because these aren't the most shapely of the bras that are out there, but they're also really easy for nursing. You can still pull it down. You could loosen it. Um, or I really just pull it up and nurse with this um, now because it's so easy. And I think if I'd had maybe a larger size or the, the larger scoop neck one um, on hand, I think I would have used these even more earlier. Um, again, not for pumping, but I just wanted to throw it out there as a potential nursing bra because I do use them. 
and they're also very comfortable because I will never go back to underwire again. <laughs> so to get to my hands down favorite company uh, postpartum, um, this is Davin and Adley. Um, this is their Ella style. So it's got these beautiful um, metal clasps um, that come apart and for um, this beautiful lace underneath and they just kind of magnet um, back together. This is one of my newest ones. I'm not really the best at that clasp yet, but um, yeah, and then the back is gorgeous. Let me move my ponytail out of the way. Um, this also comes in a beautiful rose color with silver clasps, and I think she's going to come out with more. I recommended an ivory with gold. Um, in case you're curious, this is like a rose gold metal clasp here. Um, but she makes these beautiful materials. This is like this really soft, um, stretchy, almost feels like an athletic uh, material. Um, and uh, I've only used this one for nursing. I do believe that you can pump in this one as well, but I'm not going to vouch for that because I haven't used it for pumping because I lived in her other style, which I will show um, shortly. I have three of her styles. I have the Ella, the Autumn, and the Amelia Cami. Um, and uh, I think I would get this one if it came in the ivory color as well. The Amelia comes in even more colors than what I have, and I probably will buy the rest of the colors next pregnancy in postpartum phase, because um, that's literally all I've lived in is the Devin and Adley line for like the last year. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is the Ella. My good light is fading, so I'll go quick. Um, so this is um, my absolute favorite lived in um, bras from Davin and Adley. This is the Amelia Cami. I have it in black and light pink and this army green color. As you can see, it looks super cute with some leggings. Um, she has front adjustments, so you can pull it down. You can nurse this way, which is my preferred way with this bra. It's my favorite. Um, and then you can easily bring it back up for some more support. Um, and then now to so the best part is you can pump in this bra um, and it still had really decent support. I've worn these Amelia camis for, literally for my entire like year of pumping, year and a half of pumping or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, so my flange just fit perfectly in here. I'll do that um, when I put my phone down in a second and show you. Um, and then the back has this super cute lace detail. Um, so it'd be cute if you have like an open back, like V neck back or V back shirt. Um, it's a cute detail. Um, let me show you what it looks like with my, I had the baby Buddha pump. Um, so I had like normal traditional flanges, but I know people pump in every single style pump there is on the planet. The big cups, the collection cups, the LV, the willow, um, any, anything works with this. You can literally just pop this out. It expands because, you know, it's so adjustable and it's so stretchy, but I still felt like, I still feel like I have good, like, yeah, it's like a sports bra, but I felt like shapely in my work clothes. Like I wore this under my work clothes for an entire year. I only recently stopped pumping at work like a month or two ago. So I think it was about almost a full year that I was pumping in these bras. And this is all I wore to work. Pumped on the road. I pumped in my office. Um, this was my go-to for literally everything, but then I didn't have to change bras when I got home for nursing. Um, I'm comfortable. I think sometimes I'm short, so sometimes it kind of like bunches up um, if you're like sitting and stuff, um, but it never bothered me. Um, right immediately postpartum, I was so bloated that I didn't wear this or reach, or right away, but um, yeah, I just, I'm just obsessed with these. I recommend them to everyone. They're an investment, but um, and then also if you see, I have these, um, this is a one piece liner that she makes as well. So for leaking, um, I ended up not really leaking a lot in the beginning, so I didn't really wear these kinds of things, but, um, I have a bunch of them <laughs> for next time just in case. Um, let me show you what it looks like with the, um, the pump piece in. So this is what it looks like with the pump piece in. Um, so you can like roll this up to put, um, put the pump in and then you kind of like put this down over and it helps like secure it into place. Um, I've literally used another bra, which I'll show you, um, and I didn't think my pump was working one time because I didn't have a good seal, um, it wasn't, like, holding it on well enough, and I literally went back and just put this bra on, and my pump was fine, so I thought maybe I needed to change the, um, duck bills or whatever, but, yeah, so this is, um, the Amelia Cami from Davin and Adley, and I'm obsessed. Okay, so this one's kind of hard to see, I will turn the camera around. Um, this is the Autumn by Davin and Adley as well. So you can see, um, here's the light. So we have this really nice uh, lacy um, high neck style. And then these um, pull down to nurse or pump in. Um, I don't have the best seal with this one. I didn't pump as much in this one. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, 
but this is um, super comfortable, super cute, especially if you're like a slouchy off the shoulder um, bra or something, or sweater, not bra, this is the bra. It's also a supportive um, sports bra style bra for me. Um, I like high neck uh, sports bras. Um, um, here we go. Um, but yeah, so super cute. Um, I will show you what it looks like with um, my pump in. But again, it's just kind of pull, pull aside for nursing. Super easy. I used it mostly for that, but I'll show you what the pump part looks like. So this is what it looks like for pumping. Um, it just kind of slides right in the inside and you, you, you pull this piece. Um, pulls down and it if it's pretty secure in there I just feel like with the um with the Amelia I had like um because the material is pushing down on the top it, it gave a better seal for me um but yeah so this worked either way um again I basically just lived in the Amelia's for pumping um uh, or combo days like nursing pumping days um and then I have one more bra that I bought for pumping and nursing but didn't end up using it for pumping so I'll do that next so this is the last of the pumping bras that I had. This is the cake maternity line. I just was drawn to this style with the tie-dye. I thought it was so cute. Um, ended up not really loving this bra. I think this band is like a sharp elastic on the bottom, even though it's cute. And you can see it's like all, it just bunched up because I was much um, <laughs> larger when I had bought it. It just, it just sits on top. It just bunched up. Um, so this is just, this doesn't really do anything. Um, this piece um but this is what you would pull down for nursing so it's kind of like a pull pull down one for nursing I felt like because it didn't go all the way down it wasn't as easy to pull aside for nursing um and then I don't even remember how to do the um the pumping because I just didn't I didn't use it out here so here's like a um piece under here to do like the pumping I'll put the pump part part in there to show you I just um, this didn't seal well for me at all because this is like so stretchy um, It wasn't very supportive for some reason. I felt like I didn't have a good seal And there's sometimes where I wasn't getting any output and then I switched bras and I was fine So maybe it was just user error for me, but um, I'll show you the back is very cute. It's got a very cute um, Double layer yoga look to it cute, but I felt like this band kind of cut into me a little bit It all bunched up. It doesn't look as good um let me show you what it looks like with the um, pump in. Okay, so there is like a um, blue part on the bottom, blue part on the top. So it's a slit you pull up and put it in there. And then this kind of helps support it underneath. But I think it just kind of um, is loose up here and didn't have the support that the like Amelia had for me, which I guess I needed. Um, so this kind of just lets the top for me kind of just um, hang off of my skin so the seal would break on me. So I never ended up really using this bra that much. Um, I heard that their sports bra line though is very good when my friends lit swears by one of those with the clips. Um, but for me, what I wanted this for, I didn't end up using it the same way. Like I thought with like the Amelia's, um, I ended up really just kind of putting those in the back of my drawer. Um, but yeah, so I have a couple more bras. Like a friend had sent me a couple, um, a couple bras from Amazon. I don't have the name of them, but they were very comfortable. I'll see if I can link to them um or get the link from her um but I have a couple of those um just basic like uh I don't know what this like a stretchy spandexy bra with the clips just for nursing didn't have to care if I got them all messy um it came in like a black and a nice purple pack just basic um you know there's they came with extenders too for like the um the clasps um, which was nice. So I used those in the beginning. And then I also have this nice little lacy um, pull apart. Um, kind of like the, the Kindred Bravely one. It's like a racer back lace, um, which I have a picture of. But um, I can't find, um, they don't have a lot of sizes on Amazon. So I have a feeling that they are discontinuing this. It's Momanda or Momanda brand. There's a bunch of really cute ones they have now on Amazon. They're very affordable. This is like 20 bucks. Um, I got this so I could wear it with like some cute tanks in the summer last year, but still nurse when I needed to on the go. Um, definitely not pumping friendly, but nursing friendly. It wasn't the most comfortable bands, this little elastic along this, which is a little tight, but um, I'll link to it. I really enjoyed it. 
Um, but I just think that it's discontinued, so I don't want to do like a whole <laughs> video review of it because it's not uh, seemingly available in multiple sizes. I think I've got a medium and it only says it's available in small and extra small, which I don't think anyone I know is um, postpartum. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to review that one, but I liked that style. But anyways, um, that is uh, these for now. Lastly, I just wanted to show the um, Davin and Adley liner. It's a one single piece liner for leak protection. So it's super nice. It, this is the, um, I think I got the size one because I'm a 34B typically and this fit fine. It wasn't too big just now and it wasn't too small when I was larger postpartum. Um, but yeah, I got the whole pack. Um, she has like a seven pack and a, that I thought I would use, you know, one a day and then rewash them because she comes with all her bras come with these adorable bags. Um, I have, you know, like five of these now. So I wash all my bras in these bags. Um, I got black liners and white liners, but yeah, so that's just another option for, um, leak protection instead of just like the stick in ones that fall out or bunch up and stuff like that. Alrighty, so that concludes my nursing and pumping bra review. Uh, if you have any questions, drop a comment, send me an email, message me, anything. Be happy to answer any questions. Um, I will link to everything on the blog, and I'm going to try to post this uh, on the blog and on my Instagram. So uh, good luck to all you new mamas out there or mamas trying uh, different bra styles. Uh, there's definitely more I want to try, <laughs> but uh, I lived in the Amelia camis, so I highly recommend those and those Kindred Bravely ones. But yeah, any questions, um, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to answer anything um, nursing, pumping related. Uh, yeah, let me know.